This was a series of tests for three electric vehicles and one hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, all conducted by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. And when you look at the results for Tesla's Model 3, yes, this will get a lot of attention, in part because it received the top safety rating possible. And by the way, it's the first Tesla to receive the best rating possible by the IIHS. But there are other vehicles that also got the top safety pick rating from IIHS. So we're talking about the Tesla Model 3, the Audi e-tron, as well as a fuel cell SUV from Hyundai that is the Nexo. If you're out in California, you may have seen the Nexo driving around. The rest of the country probably hasn't seen that vehicle yet. And in terms of what this might mean overall for the auto industry, keep in mind that what you're looking at here is the Chevy Bolt. Now, this did well in the crash test, although it didn't get the top safety rating because of uh, concerns regarding the headlight glare. It gets to the point of whether or not EVs, because of how they are structured and how they are built, whether or not they are safer. Take a look at shares of General Motors, which makes the Chevy Bolt. And we're also showing you this because I get this question every day. What's going on with the negotiation with the UAW? They're still talking. No update. Don't be surprised that this goes on for a little bit. Brian? All right, Phil, while we have you, let's go from the UAW to the FAA. This is really interesting. The new FAA chief, Steve Dixon, meeting with yep. Boeing executives, touring his facilities in Washington. But he's a pilot. He's a test pilot. He's a commercial pilot. He wants to get in this plane himself. He's commercially rated to fly the 737, and he flew the 737 for a number of years when he was a pilot uh, you know, with Delta. So he knows how to fly this plane. But he told us the other day, look, I am not going to fly this plane until I believe that it's safe. Today, he will get in the simulator of the 737 MAX out in Seattle when he's there. And in terms of what's going to happen in the future, keep in mind that Boeing's timeline is that they get a certification flight happening and they apply for recertification you know, later this month or early next month, certainly early in the fourth quarter, and then they expect it to return to service by the end of the year. But keep in mind, Steve Dixon also said yesterday, he's not just getting in the simulator, Brian. He wants to pilot it. He wants to take it up before he says, yeah, it's good to go. Now, he's not a test pilot, so he won't be in the recertification flight. But yep. at some, plan some point, he plans to fly it.